This is one of my favorite couture decor projects I've ever done. I took an old file cabinet and I shrink wrapped it with, yes, the same kind of vinyl they shrink wrap bus ads with. And I wanted a nod, a fun whimsical nod to the Louis original and inserted my own initials instead. And this file cabinet has lasted for years. It really does look like new. I got this idea for a shrink wrap file cabinet when I was taking a late night ride in a New York subway and the entire interior of the subway, curves and all, was a huge movie ad. So of course I thought, how can I shrink wrap something in my own little space? I also love the idea that if I ever want to remove the vinyl, that it won't hurt my file cabinet. And what you want to do is you find a printing company that will print your design onto shrink wrap vinyl. When you order your vinyl, you'll give the printing department or the printing company exact measurements of each side of your file cabinet and they'll send back to you panels that will be pre-cut to match the front, the sides, the top. So I'm just going to show you what you do when you want to cover the front of the file cabinet. Now this file cabinet is just to demo to show you so there are little nuts and bolts here that are going to bulge but don't worry about that. So I'm going to just match the corner and the top And the sides of the file cabinet. And I'm just going to peel across. And we'll smooth a little bit as we go. And don't worry too much because you can still lift it up and reposition if you don't get it quite right. You just want to make sure you don't stretch the vinyl too much because and it's okay if I'm going a little bit over the top because I'm going to have another piece on top of the file cabinet to cover any raw edges. And then we have a little bit of a situation here. It's going to go back. We have a little bit of a bubble, but I didn't tack this down too hard. And then we'll just go like this. And you'll just work it. Don't get nervous. So now we're going to cut out the entire sides of the drawer. I'll we'll just cut along very carefully. I'm just guided by the top of the drawer. all along here. We've cut out the entire two drawers and let me pull them out for you. So this looks pretty good. If your furniture has any curvatures like mine does in the drawers, you simply use the heat of a blow dryer and then you can mold the vinyl so that it sh literally shrink wraps and hugs onto every curve of your furniture. That's what I love about it. And when you live in a small space like I do, I, there's no way to there's no place to hide a file cabinet underneath my clear glass desk. So I needed something that I could store openly, slightly undercover, and this Louis inspired file cabinet was perfect. Couture decor touches like this file cabinet go a long way to elevate a small space. It has a magical way of dazzling and drawing attention away from your space's shortcomings. And now for my love of Hermes, I would love to have a real Hermes coffee table, but instead I have a nod to the original, a hand-painted metal coffee table that I've loved for years. I figured out a way to take brown grosgrain ribbon, the ones with the white stitching on the sides, and with two rubber stamps, I was able to create an Hermes-inspired 
chocolate brown ribbon. I found one rubber stamp that was a horse and carriage, and then I married it with another stamp that said Paris on it. Together with white fabric stamp ink, you can stamp it onto grow grain ribbon. To make it more permanent, you can iron on the opposite side of the ribbon, and that will set the ink. Now I've used it for curtain tie backs, to accent around an urn, and my favorite project was to take the ribbon and border a sisal rug in my foyer in New York City. I just love the look of that. Another way of adding a couture touch in the kitchen is by buying and displaying clean caviar tins. I mean, it is the ultimate food designer label. And by grouping six or more on a wall, you, it just looks like pop couture. I've done this in my New York City apartment and I never got tired of looking at it, so give it a whirl. You can buy the caviar tins online. Okay guys, thanks so much. I'll see you here next Saturday. Hope you give these couture decor touches a try in your own space. Bye.